Hey guys, welcome to the channel, I'm FaceCast, and today we will walk through Chapter 2 City Park in Survivor.io. We'll go over the best gear and skills to use in this chapter, as well as every enemy we will face, including elites and bosses. But before we do all of that, make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos about Survivor.io. And if you need a VPN, check out the NordVPN link in the description of this video. You can get a free gift if you sign up using the link in the description. If you obtained a piece of gear from a chest or event, after completing the first chapter, head over to the equipment tab and equip the new gear. When it comes to weapons at this point in the game, the right weapon to use might be your highest grade weapon, but the most preferable weapon to use in this chapter is the kunai, because it will automatically target enemies around you and provides excellent single target damage against bosses. Excluding the light chaser, other weapons like the revolver, shotgun, baseball bat, and katana may require a more manual target approach but are still very effective. As you see here, I'm going with the revolver. It's my best grade weapon. It's going to have the most attack by default and I feel confident. In addition, if you upgrade your weapon or any other piece of gear, you can salvage it for free in order to obtain your resources back and reset the gear piece to level 1. You don't lose anything doing this and it allows you to upgrade and try multiple weapons and pieces of gear. The Molotov is great in this chapter due to the number of enemies that leave puddles of lasting damage when they die. This skill will sporadically launch flames around you that deal lasting damage and remove traces of lasting damage from the ground. When the Molotov is combined with the Oil Bond passive skill, it will evolve into the Fuel Barrel. The Guardian spins tops around you that deal damage and knocks the enemy back. This chapter has a lot of monsters that will rush you and your movement speed may not be ideal for the chase, so consider using the Guardian to keep enemies away. In addition, when you combine the Guardian with the Exo Bracer, you can create the Defender Evo skill, a much more powerful version of the Guardian that constantly spins around you. The force field creates an area around you that causes damage and pushes the enemy back when they get too close. The more you level it up, the wider it gets. And when combined with the energy drink, it can evolve into the force barrier. This weapon and passive skill combination is great because the energy drink will restore a percentage of your health every couple of seconds. When you combine the brick with the fitness guide, you can create the one ton iron evo skill. And this evo skill is great at defeating groups of monsters that surround you from every side. The one ton iron evo skill will launch one ton iron irons in a circle around you that deal penetration damage to multiple targets. It will basically cut through enemies like butter. The lightning emitter can defeat enemies in the distance, elite enemies, and bosses. When combined with the energy cube and evolved into the supercell, it will cause more damage at a faster fire rate. There are other weapon skills that work in this chapter including the soccer ball, boomerang, drill shot, RPG, type A drone, and type B drone. For the first 30 seconds, you will fight butterflies that leave puddles of lasting damage on the ground when they die. Avoid the puddles and keep moving and looting in order to upgrade your weapon and obtain a skill as fast as possible. At the 30 second mark, zombie dogs will begin to appear alongside the butterflies. At the 1 minute mark, all enemies will fade out and zombies will approach from all sides. They are slow and give you a chance to maneuver around the battlefield to loot. At the 2 minute mark, an elite butterfly will appear. It will launch puddles of lasting damage at you, so it's advisable to keep moving in order to avoid getting hit. At the 3 minute mark, a zombie's incoming message will be displayed and butterflies will approach from all sides. I personally prefer to maneuver around the puddles of lasting damage while looting. It may not be wise to stand still as they can easily swarm and surround you. At 4 minutes, zombies and zombie dogs will join the butterflies. Hey and look at this, I found a bomb! Let's save it for the boss coming up in a minute. At the 5 minute mark is the first boss and it's the Papillon Butterfly. This boss will launch projectiles toward you that are fairly easy to avoid. If you've saved a bomb as we did in this video, use it. If not, keep evading the butterfly until you defeat it. Once the boss is defeated, zombie construction workers will slowly move in from every corner. They are slow and drop blue and gold loot which is great for leveling up your skills faster. So quickly move around them, kill as many as you can, and level up your skills. This is the perfect time to do that. Zombie butterflies will begin to appear around 5 minutes and 30 seconds which can make looting and maneuvering harder. Keep moving and kill as many as you can. Use bombs to defeat them and remove traces of lasting damage from the ground. Skills like the Guardian and Molotov work really well during this part of the chapter. 
chapter because they can create space and remove blemishes from the ground. At the 7 minute mark, zombie dogs and regular zombies will quickly appear and zombie construction workers and butterflies will fade out. The next zombies incoming alert will be shown at the 8 minute mark and the butterflies will return to avenge their fallen brothers and sisters. At the 9 minute mark, zombie construction workers will attack you along with a bigger and stronger elite zombie holding a megaphone. The construction workers are slow so this boss can easily be defeated by keeping a short distance and letting your skills do the work. This is another good opportunity to loot as the construction workers are slow and there's room to move around. At the 10 minute mark, a boss assault alert will pop up and the spread stinger boss will appear. It will follow you around and launch projectiles at you that break apart and move faster around you. If you have trouble evading this boss's attack, you will want to keep a distance. Once the boss is defeated, alien slugs and butterflies will appear. This is a great time to have the fuel barrel, evo skill to help create pathways through the enemy. At 11 minutes, a butterfly elite monster will appear. Use caution because it will try to rush you and has range damage. You may find it useful to kite this boss, run away from it, and let it chase you. At the 12 minute mark, an elite construction worker zombie will appear alongside zombies and zombie dogs. The elite will follow you around and spawn construction worker zombies. Keep your distance and let your skills do all the work. At the 13 minute mark, slugs will approach along with an elite butterfly. Things can get hectic here, so having an evolved skill like the defender may be very beneficial. You will get swarmed from every side, so don't stop and keep creating a pathway, or you may get overwhelmed. Also, keep looting and upgrading as much as you can. With one minute left to go, at the 14 minute mark, butterflies will make their descent, and this is where skills like the fuel barrel and one ton iron really shine. You must survive for one minute. At the 15 minute mark is the final boss, the Mega Devourer. He will charge at you in a straight line multiple times. His charges can be evaded if you're fast enough, or move out of the way right before he rushes. He also has a ranged attack, so you're not really safe anywhere on the screen, but you can keep a safe distance and move out of the way when he attacks you. Evolved skills like the Supercell and Whispering Arrow can defeat this boss. Even the Shark Maw Gun will cause high damage. Thank you so much for watching this Chapter 2 walkthrough. There are other Chapter walkthroughs on this channel if you want to check them out. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thanks again. Smash like and subscribe. I'll see you later.